Hi friends, so welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the PyCatracer activity configuring basic EIGRP with IPv6. Here is our objectives of our PyCatracer activity. In part 1, configure EIGRP for IPv6 routing. In part 2, verify IPv6 EIGRP for IPv6 routing. We will go through the scenario. In this activity, we will configure the network with EIGRP routing for IPv6. We will also assign router IDs, configure passive interfaces, verify the network is fully converged, and display routing information using show commands. So this is what we are going to do in this activity. Uh, EIGRP for IPv6 has the same overall operation and features as EIGRP for IPv4. There are a few major differences between them, right? Those are EIGRP for IPv6 is configured directly on the router interfaces. With EIGRP for IPv6, a router ID is required on each router or the routing process will not start. The EIGRP for IPv6 routing process uses a shutdown feature. Coming to part 1, configure EIGRP for IPv6 routing. Step 1, enable IPv6 routing on each router. Right, we will do this first. Coming to R1 CLI. Enable configure terminal. Here we are to give IPv6 unicast routing. Coming to R2. Configure terminal. Here we are to give IPv6 unicast routing. Coming to R3. Enable configure terminal IPv6 unicast routing. Coming to a step 2, enable EIGRP for IPv6 routing on each router. The IPv6 routing process is uh, uh, shut down by default. Issue a command that will enable EIGRP for IPv6 routing in R1, R2, and R3. Enable the EIGRP process on all routers and use 1 as the autonomous system number. First of all, we will do it on R1. IPv6 router EIGRP 1. No shutdown. Coming to R2. IPv6 Router EIGRP 1, no shutdown. Coming to R3. IPv6 Router EIGRP 1, no shutdown. Coming to a step 3. Assign a router ID to each router. The router IDs are as follows for R1, 1.1.1.1. For R2, 2.2.2.2 and for R3, 3.3.3.3. Coming to R1, here we are going to give EIGRP router ID 1.1.1.1. Coming to R2, EIGRP router ID 2.2.2.2 and coming to to R3 EIGRP router ID 3.3.3.3 Coming to step 4 Using uh, S1 configure EIGRP for IPv6 on each interface Right, so we will do that First of all we will do it on R1 CLI We have to go to the interfaces so interface so gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 ipv6 eigrp1 now we will go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 okay ipv6 eigrp1 and now we will go to the interface serial 
0 slash 0 slash 1 and we have IPv6 CIGRP1 before coming to R2 here we can see R2 interfaces uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 coming to R2 we will go to the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and we will give IPv6 EIGRP1 now we will go to the interface so serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we will give IPv6 EIGRP1 and now we will go to the interface so serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and we have IPv6 EIGRP1 here we can see our three interfaces, uh, same gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 coming to R3. Exit interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and we have IPv6 EIGRP1. Now we will go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we have IPv6 EIGRP1 and now we will go to the last interface interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and we have IPv6 EIGRP1 now we will come to part 2 verify EIGRP for IPv6 routing step 1 examine neighbor adjacencies Use the command show IPv6 EIGRP neighbors to verify that the adjacency has been established with its neighboring routers. The link local addresses of the neighboring routers are displayed in the adjacency table. Right. Coming to R1. Here we are going to give a show IPv6 EIGRP neighbors. Yes, here we can see the details. Coming to R2, show IPv6 EIGRP neighbors. Yes. Coming to R3, show IPv6 EIGRP neighbors. Right. Coming to a step 2. Examine the IPv6 EIGRP routing table. Use the show IPv6 route command to display the IPv6 routing table on all routers. EIGRP for IPv6 routes are denoted in the routing table with a D character. Right. So first of all we will come to R1 and we will give show IPv6 route. And here we can see the details right coming to R2 show IPv6 root yes here we can see that here we can see that and coming to R3 show IPv6 root right coming to step 3 verify the parameters and the current state of the active ipv6 routing protocol processes use the command show ipv6 protocols to verify the configured parameter right so coming to r1 here we are going to give show ipv6 protocols and here we can see the details right coming to r2 show ipv6 protocols here we can see the interfaces right coming to r3 show ipv6 
protocols right now we will come to uh, step 4 verify nd2 and connectivity pc1 pc2 and pc3 should now be able to ping each other if not uh, troubleshoot your aigrp configurations right so we will get the ip address of a uh, pc3 here we will give ip v6 config and we will uh, copy this address ipv6 address coming to pc1 desktop command prompt here we are going to ping to pc3 yes we are getting the replay and we will ping from pc2 to pc3 the address of pc3 yes we are getting the replay well that's all in this spike tracer activity uh, here we can see the completion status 100 out of 100 yes in this activity we have seen uh, configuring basic eigrp with the ipv6 friends if you have any doubt in this spike tracer activity please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into your gmail Thank you.